post office building was placed on the National Historic Register in 1977. It is an excellent example of 19th century civic architecture. The structure is a neoclassical scheme based on Palladian design. Of note are coins or accented corners, cornices, and pediments at the roof line. The federal government planned to construct a custom house in Ogdensburg in 1856, but due to delays and the Civil War, all work on public buildings was suspended. Construction finally began in 1866 using a design by noted architect Alfred B. Mullet. The building was completed in 1870 at a cost of $265,000. The stone used was Beria sandstone from Ohio with blue-cut limestone as a base. The lower floor was occupied by the post office, customs department, pension office, and revenue department. The second floor was a federal courtroom. The roof was covered in Vermont slate with an iron-framed dome built of copper and slate 30 feet in diameter and 50 feet in height. The hall floors were laid with sandstone tile. Renovations and repairs were completed in 1896, which entailed relaying tile floors, paneling walls, frescoing ceilings, and new granite steps. The dome on the building was removed in October of 1906 after an 80-pound piece of sandstone fell to the ground. An engineer determined that a new roof was needed, and the dome was removed at that time. Of note is the staircase, which consists of marble steps, each weighing nearly 300 pounds each. The steps are set in a wrought iron frame. President Ulysses S. Grant and his wife were the guests of honor at a reception held on the second floor in 1872. The Federal Postal Service put the building up for sale in 1990. It was purchased by developers but remained vacant for several years. Vandals broke windows numerous times and the building fell into disrepair until the post office renovated the space and returned in 2000. The building was renamed the Frederick S. Remington Post Office Building in 2009 by Congress. Mm -hmm.